Give me a brew And I'll give a review With all of my friends And tell you the truth Toss me a brew Now check out this too Pour yourself one too And here's what we do We'll do anything in any old news, shared opinions with you. Not just the drink, no, cause peppers will do. Sweet mild or hot, baby, those crazy ones too. Now that you know, now that you know, subscribe on YouTube. Share with your friends all our reviews. Share with your friends all our reviews. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, every rhino, we're looking at a beer. Today's beer is right here. It's from Grand River in uh, Cambridge. It's Grand River Brewing's Red Tail Ale, which is 5.2% alcohol by volume. Uh, well, actually, they call it Galt, Ontario, I guess. Uh, Cambridge is, uh, I'm going to assume Galt, Ontario is much like, uh, much like things like, um, Niagara on the Lake having Virgil and other such things, uh, I'm going to, unless they did move, but I know that originally they were in Cambridge, um, but I'm going to assume that Galt is just a, uh, like, suburb township in the area. I have the James Ready 5.5 mug out. Now I know the brewmaster at uh, Grand River has changed, the art has changed, they've been coming out with a lot of new beers, but uh, the, broom, the original brewmaster, well the brewmaster that I personally knew, is working at Sean and Ed now, so maybe all that uh, buttery flavor is going to be gone, but um, beautiful reddish hue, I mean it does look the part, it's slightly off white head, a little tiny bit of snap crackle pop scent. kind of just smells like a beer, just a beer, just a macro lager really, um, a little bit of, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of hoppiness on the background, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of almost like a sulfuric note to it, but I'm not smelling butteriness, which is a start, cheers! A slightly sweet caramel note with a slightly earthy dirtiness on the back end. Really, there's nothing to this beer. This beer is uh, this beer is like the the craft version of Rickard's Red. Um, a little bit of what you'd expect in a in like an amber ale, but. Uh, Nothing mind blowing. Yeah, it's drinkable, and uh, that's that's about the extent of it. It's drinkable. There's nothing offensive about it, and there's nothing special about it. It's it's there. It's a beer, and it's there. Uh, out of ten on it, five point five, and that's not that I'm saying it's a bad beer. It's that I'm saying that after thirty eight hundred beers. It's there, it's drinkable, it's a fine beer.
I could drink it. It's not what I'm normally looking for, but I could drink it if I had to. If you're just looking for a craft beer that you can share with almost anybody, it works. A little bit of bitterness on the back end, a little bit of caramel sweetness on the forefront, a little bit of earthy kind of biscuity back end too. Uh, kind of like, um, like I said, it's like a Rickard's Red, so I, I would say, I would say though it's, it, it's a mixture of like an Irish Red and a like English Bitter, because you're getting that earthy, that earthy dirtiness on the background, and you're getting that slight caramel forefront. So, good beer, fine beer, better than most of the other beers I've had from Grand River in all honesty. Not really my fang, but I could drink it. Thank you guys. Au revoir, aviento, see you soon. Grand River Brewing's Red Tail Ale. Boom.